In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a custom domain name to Framer. So I'm going to connect a domain to my just example page here, and this is going to be done through Framer. Now, what you need to do is go to Framer.com. You need to obviously create your account, then head over to your Framer dashboard. From here, you will then see all of the websites that you've created. I'm going to click on this test one here called Knowledge Base, and we'll connect a custom domain to this. So once you've opened up your website, it is fairly easy. You need to go to the settings icon in the top right hand corner. From here, go to domains and then you'll see the subdomain, which will be created when you publish your website. Now, you need a Framer Pro plan to connect a custom domain. If you scroll down and you go to connect a domain you own, if you're on the free plan, it will tell you to upgrade. But because I've already upgraded, I think I paid like four pounds per month. I can now upgrade to a custom domain. So now we're going to enter in this domain here. So I'm using Hostinger. That's where I've bought my domain. I'm going to connect my domain from Hostinger. You can do this with any domain registration company. What you need to do is find your domain. So I'm going to go to my domains, then domain portfolio, and then we will look at this domain here. So we'll connect knowledgebasevideo.com. So all I'm going to do just for now is copy it. And then we can head back over to Framer and I can type in this box www and then paste in the domain knowledgebasevideo.com and then click on the tick. Now we've done that, it's going to ask us to add these following DNS records. We need to add three different records here and one of them is going to be a C name and two A records. So this is pretty simple, right? So now we need to go to our domain. We need to head into the back end on Hostinger. You click on manage, then you need to head into the area where you can add more DNS servers. So go DNS slash name servers, then scroll down. And what we need to do is we need to add two A records and one C name record. So we'll start with the C name. So type C name. Do you want to go ahead and copy the value and then the name can be www. So we'll go type C name for name, change that to www. And then for the target, we'll paste in this. Now, if it's going to say that the record conflicts with another one, it means you've got two C name records already. You can see I've got one here. So I'm going to delete the existing C name record. Just make sure we've got no more. OK, so that's all good. And this should now update and we can now go ahead and add that. So there you go. There's that first one added. Now we need to add two more A records. So we'll copy the first one, type A record name at, we'll paste this in and then we'll click add record. Now it's going to say here for me that I've got an, another existing A record, which I'm going to delete. So make sure you don't have any conflicting records. OK, so now we've added that one. Now for the last one, you want to copy it. And again, this is another A record. So for this one, we'll paste in the other IP address. We'll click add record and we'll confirm. And we should only have two A records now. There we go. Two A records and also one C name record. Now we can go back to Framer and you must set up the DNS values. Now what's going to happen is you need to wait for the DNS values to propagate. So if you click on your URL, it might have connected straight away, but it also might not load. As you can see, mine actually does work. It took a while, but it is working right now. Let me just refresh this page. Then we'll head back into settings. And if you scroll down, yeah, so this is pending. Now you can see if you've done it correctly by simply just copying your domain. So I'll just copy it. And if you open up a new tab and just go to DNS checker and just type it in on Google, any of these websites, I use dnschecker.org. If you type in your URL here, then click search, if everything's green here, it means you've done everything correct. And you just need to wait for the DNS settings to be updated. And then your website will be live and it will be working using that domain. So you can see mine set up. I'm just going to wait for this to go green, but that's how you do it. I hope that video helped.